Hey, what's going on? So this video is for anyone out there who has a mid-roof truck and does not have a bunk in it. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because, I don't know about you guys, but I always used that bunk for storage. I take the mattress out and I turn it, I just use it as a shelf and put all my stuff up there. And if you're in a mid-roof truck, well, and chances are you don't have that top bunk and you really have really limited storage. Um, it really sucks, it really does, especially if you're out on the road for a long time like I am. I'm out on the road anywhere three, four months at most when you gotta be. Um, I don't like being out that long, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, so uh, I wanted more storage. I made myself a shelf. And uh, I say I made myself a shelf, it's, I guess it qualifies as a bunk really because you can easily put a mattress in it and uh, it'll hold somebody's weight. So I'll walk you through it real quick. Nothing too long, nothing too crazy. I'm not a carpenter by the way. Like I, I guarantee, I, I already know one error I made doing this and I'll point it out, but uh, I'll fix it at some point and uh, once you see what I did, you won't do it. So this, is the shelf right here okay two by four and no, out two by six for the top portion right here so nothing slides forward but as you can see i gotta load it up look at that a good amount of weight in there you know look at all that stuff and that's not all my stuff okay but i don't have to worry about putting 10 gallons of shit in a five gallon bucket anymore so um i got a thin piece of plywood right here that's um for the floor of the shelf and underneath i have it supported with two by fours as you can see now you're going to notice this right here this is pipe insulation i put that on the ends that way when i wake up when I lift my head up, I don't bang my head. I know myself, and yeah, I'd hit my head all the damn time. So I framed it up, the two by fours going lengthwise. Uh, because of the dimensions of my, uh, easier to show you on that side, because of the dimensions of my escape doors, uh, I put those two two by fours sideways, and I just double stacked them. Uh, that's why you see it like that. That's why there's the lip on that two by four. Now the error that I made, is I probably should have notched those two by fours. And now that I see the room that I had, I actually would have had them coming up uh, on the outside and I would have uh, screwed them into the side. But that's the other thing. Once you get this thing, like I, I fashioned the actual shelf, turned it sideways at a 45 degree angle and pushed it through one of the escape doors to get it in here. Uh, I, with the legs, you'll notice I got, I got a two by four down there, going all the way across. Okay, to support, so it's supported. And I have uh, screws screwed in at a 45, 45 degree angle. Um, so I had those U-shaped supports made. And it was really uh, a pain in the ass wedging them in, uh, getting everything up and getting everything together. I had just enough room to do everything. Like honestly, if my, any of my dimensions were uh, any crazier, any larger or longer, okay, I, I would have run into problems putting it together. Uh, but I am noticing now that I've driven probably about, I don't know, a thousand miles that it wants to move back and forth. So what I'm gonna do probably is get some supports right here at a 45 degree angle on both sides. And uh, cut them, cut the ends at a 45 and screw those in and that'll stop it from shifting sideways like that uh, but it works it works fantastic uh, it is really solid you know like I know I could climb up there right now even with all that on there I could fucking stack bags of concrete on that thing and that's good because if I ever decide uh, to take someone for a trip with me, uh, I can 
make sure I don't have nearly as much food and all that stuff, but down, downsize a bit. I can throw a mattress up there easily, you know? So you could definitely, if you're a team runner, uh, that's a solution right there. But anyway, um, uh, let's see. Necessity is the mother of all invention. I think that's how it goes. And uh, that's the way this went. So total cost on this, uh, I want to say was probably about $150 in material. Um, but I had all the, uh, I, I stopped at a Home Depot and I had everything cut for me at the Home Depot. So I planned everything out beforehand and I had it all, all the measurements, uh, how many different pieces I needed of each measurement. And uh, I went into the Home Depot, even the plywood, and I had them cut everything. And that's the way you do it if you're an over-the-road truck driver. You're nowhere near home and you just want to get this done on a 34 or something. Go to Home Depot or a Lowe's, have them cut up all the pieces for you. But man, plan it good. Okay, go over your measurements like three or four times. Uh, make sure you got plenty of uh, leeway. Okay, you don't, you don't want to run into an issue where something's too long or too wide. It's it'd just be a huge pain in the butt. And, um, yeah, get it done. So, hope you guys found this uh, helpful. Uh, this has definitely been helpful for, to me. I'm not... It, it feels a little weird having uh, the, this shelf so close to me when I'm laying down. But... What it does for me heavily outweighs that. Uh, one thing, actually, I was planning on doing, believe it or not, was putting a curtain, I don't know, maybe like a, a curtain, a shower rod or something across from there to there, and then putting a curtain over there. That way I don't even got to screw with these when I want to go to sleep. All I got to do is just draw the curtain. Poof. There we go. But anyway, all right. Thank you very much. Hope this helps. You guys, if you uh, have any questions about building anything in trucks, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, figuring stuff out, uh, hit me up. I got nothing but time.